Welcome to Emilia Romagna, the so-called food valley of Italy for its many high-quality food products. Yes, you're about to see a lot of food in this video. We're traveling towards Modena, a city famous for the balsamic vine guard that can only be produced here. Our plan is to visit this pretty little city and have some food tastings along the way. Modena is in the middle of Emilia-Romagna region and is known for its artistic, historical and architectural value. Like for example its top attraction, Piazza Grande. It's the main square that contains the cathedral and the Ghirlandaia bell tower. They are both UNESCO heritage sites. The cathedral was built in 1099 while the tower is 86 meters high. The cathedral is one of the best examples of Romanic architecture in Italy. I actually think the bell tower is leaning a little bit. Can you see it? We just bought the tickets to go up the Ghirlandina Tower. It's 3 euros per person, so we're about to see a panorama over Modena. This is Piazza Grande from above. I ordered pineapple pizza and they put me in jail. Kidding. I would never do that. I'm an Italian. So what does it mean that Emilia Romagna is the Italian food valley? It's the Italian region with the highest number of certified food products. Food products here to maintain their known high quality, they are certified to be produced only following strict rules and guidelines and only in certain locations or areas. At lunch today uh, we will be trying gnocco fritto and tigelle. Buono. We just found out this is a very typical thing, it's called borlengo and it's just pastry filled with lard and parmesan cheese. You wouldn't think, but it's actually really really delicious. Wow, so that's a gnocco fritto. It's huge. Uh, to eat this you have to fill it with cured meats and cheese. And now I'm about to try tigelle, thin round breads, but much tastier than bread. So you cut them open. Okay. Yes, you can fill them with cheese. We have different types or lard. I will go with spreadable cheese called stracchino. Whoa. I know stracchino is a lot of it. Yes, much more. Okay. Then you can add meat. This portico, or colonnade in English, is a distinctive trait of all the different cities of Emilia-Romagna region. So, also taking a walk in the city when it's raining, it's not a problem. Balsamic Vinegar is what made Modena famous all over Italy and all over the world. But what's the difference between that and normal Vinegar? Well, the main difference is how long it ages. It can take up to 25 years and of course after that amount of time it's much tastier, it's more sweet and delicate and it can really change a dish. In and around Modena you can see many ancient Vinegar factories, Acetaia, which was the one in Spilamberto about 20 minutes from Modena. Poi cosa faccio? Devo farlo fermentare perché trasformo lo zucchero in alcol. Quando arriviamo dopo i 24 anni, che fa così. Why is the traditional balsamic vinegar of Modena so expensive that it is nicknamed the black gold of Modena? Well, let me put it this way, from 100 kilograms of grapes you will get, after 25 years, only 2 liters of vinegar. Quindi sono 
It was really interesting to learn about the production process of a traditional vine gar of Modena, but the tasting was tiny, so it made me hungry, and that's why we're going to dinner now. We will enjoy the famous tortellini. The actual Italian pronunciation is tortellini. Oops, jump with the car. Tortellini is a traditional fresh pasta stuffed with a mix of meat like pork loin, ham and mortadella, parmesan cheese, eggs and nutmeg and it's served in capon broth. It's delicious! I'm drinking a local wine called Lambrusco which is an exception among red wines because it's sparkling and I have to say it's one of my favorite wines, light and tasty. Let's start our second day. As you probably know, Italy was divided in many little states before its unity in the 19th century. While Modena was the capital of the Estense state, this, behind me, was the palace of the Estense family that governed the state. It was built in the Middle Age and today it hosts a military academy. These are some of the rooms you can see inside if you have a chance to visit it. You know, if I had a palace as big as this, when would I have the time to clean it? The best portraits of the Estense family is here in this museum, the Estense Gallery. It's a special day today because Italy celebrates uh, the day it was freed by fascism thanks to partisan and the Allies in Second World War. So let's hear the band playing. Modena has always been a politically active city and an example of this is this rock in uh, the main square. It was used in ancient times by people who wanted to make a political speech and they used the rock as a stage. If you want to eat local food in an informal way, head to the Albinelli food market. Unfortunately, today it's closed at its national holiday. Apart from being the Italian food valley, the territory around Modena is also the Italian motor valley. Indeed, it's home to super famous car companies like Ferrari and Maserati. And here you can visit their museums and factories. One of the specialties of Modena is fresh pasta, which is egg-based, so its taste is quite different from the one you buy in the supermarket. And the most famous examples of fresh pasta are tagliatelle and tortellini. <laughs> this is one of the most traditional restaurants in Modena called Trattoria and it's very peculiar because it's actually inside the apartment of the owner so that's why I rang the doorbell to ask them when they open at what time. Famous tagliatelle with ragu sauce. <laughs> Quick lesson how to roll tagliatelle. Take them and then you start twisting your wrist. Okay, it's very long. Okay, now I'm sure you all know this. This is lasagna, and, but this is the real one. I'm eating it in the region who invented it.
When you eat dishes like this, you know that you're kind of eating the Italian history and they follow strict guidelines. For example, a true lasagna must have at least five layers or um, a tagliatelle must be seven millimeters high while the ragu sauce is cooked for many many hours. Always and a dish like this in Italy. Your plate must be entirely white and empty. Until there's something in the plate, you gotta use bread. This action is called scappetta. The only way to finish an Italian meal is by doing this. And that's why uh, at the end of a meal you ask for a digestive liquor. Each region has its own kind prepared with local products. In Modena they have one made from walnuts. It's strong. This historical palace was used by livestock merchants, as you can understand from the boy statues over there. And today it's the headquarters of the University of Economics. It's true what they say, when you dig the earth in Italy, you never know what you're gonna find. That's exactly what happened here when they wanted to build an underground parking. They found out that five meters below the ground here, an ancient Roman alley, and they dismantled it piece by piece. They built it again here above what today is the ground. So now I'm walking on a thousand years old street. So, to summarize, Modena is a great destination if you want to eat well. It's in the middle of a food ballet and from here you can easily visit other cities like Bologna or Parma. If you come by plane, the airport of Bologna is just 30 minutes away. Is your mouth watering already? If it is, like and share our video.